Oops. Well, everybody, this is my plan haul. It'll be a second video. I just wanted to show you a little bit better. Look at how beautiful this is from Plantarina. A Hoya Publica. My camera shut off on me with the first video. This is the Silvery Ann from Gabriella Nursery. And I don't know whether you know this or not, but Gabriella got its name, I believe, from the street that it's on. It wasn't named after a person. There's a lot of dirt that just fell out. Oh well. This is my moonlight. Moonlight hybrid. I kept thinking maybe. Look at those beautiful. And it's getting a new leaf. It's a beauty. Very pretty. And here's another Hoya. Whoops, I better do the Obifolia first. All right. These plants, I figured out how to take care of them. You have to use one of those self-waterers, those glass globes. And... Hang on a second, I'll get one. This is what I'm talking about, a self-waterer. It was in with the philodendron that I forget to water all the time. But it holds a bunch of water. So, this one I'll probably still use in there. I have some smaller plastic ones I found online. But this one... You have to, and what I'm trying to say is, you have to make sure the plant is well watered when you put that globe in. Otherwise, the dry soil will cause all the water to come out. So, it has to be watered first, then put the globe in the pot. So, that will go in there. I'll get a different one, or I'll probably use one of the little plastic ones I got because it's so little. And here's the fourth plant from Gabriella's and it has lots of new growth lots of new growth that's all new looks like they nipped something off of there there's more new growth you can see the leaves have a nice texture to them this one is is a species so it's not a hybrid and it's supposed to get the most beautiful, white, fragrant flowers, according to the internet. But anyhow, the Orbifolia, I think I forgot to tell you this. Any of the Calathea family, they do not like to dry out. Um, maybe a tad dry out. But they like to stay evenly moist. They're more like African violets. And I guess that's because they grow on the understory. In their native habitat. Philodendrons, you all know how to take care of them. They can dry out. They'll they'll put up with some abuse. Silvery Ann. This one feels like it might need watered. Um, if you don't water these, the leaves will curl up and sometimes they won't hydrate. So let it get slightly dry and then water it. But don't let it get completely dry. And then that was all from Gabriella's. And then this one was the one. I'm thoroughly in love with this. With Gabriella's, if you bought four plants, you got a 10% discount. So that helped pay for the $15 or $14 shipping because it was five twenty five so it cost me like nine seventy five maybe to ship those four plants and plant arena it's free shipping, so this was supposed to be twenty five dollars and it was fifteen mm -hmm. percent off so I paid less than twenty five for this two fifty and another dollar three fifty so I just paid a little over twenty bucks, but this is a gorgeous plant so that one was the most expensive the orbifolia was $17.50 the Hoya Australis was $12.50 so 
sorry, I do this filming with my cell phone, and I don't have the case on it, so it's not so good. The Silvery Ann was 15 and the Moonlight was 750 It was on sale.